Daddy, stop this embarrassment to the body of Christ. APC campaign team replies Bishop Oyeneko for rejecting Tunubu swearing in. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. Oyeneko had in October 2022 vowed not to vote for presidential candidate running on a Muslim Muslim ticket in the 2023 general elections. The All Progressive Congress APC Campaign Council spokesperson Festus Kiyamo has described the comment of the Catholic Archbishop Emeritus of Abuja, His Eminence Cardinal John Oneko, against the May 29 surname of the President-elect Bola Sorimbo as an embarrassment to the body of Christ. Oneko had in October 2022 vowed not to vote for a presidential candidate running on a Muslim Muslim ticket in the 2023 general elections. The cleric who spoke at the first synod of the Catholic Diocese of Oshibu held in Ede Oshun State has said though he had one vote, it would not go to any candidate running on a Muslim Muslim ticket. These automatically rolled out Tunumbu and Shetima. Also speaking in an interview with Channel Television on Thursday, Oneko kicked against the throwing in of Bola Tunumbu before the conclusion of the electoral election tribunal. Oneko, who said, Nigeria's electionary system ought to be reviewed, noted that swearing in the All Progressive Congress. Tunibu was an anomaly since his victory is being challenged in court by Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and Peter B. of the Labour Party, LP. However, Kenyamo, who is also Minister of State, Labour, and Employment, reacting to Onayaka's comment in a statement, Posted via his Twitter handle, asked the Archbishop to consider stepping back from the deep and murky waters of politics and disease from descending into the arena of political conflicts. He said, Dear Daddy Oyeneko, You know we all respect you a lot, but your political comments are becoming unstatements like. A statesman who doubles as a man of God should strive to be fair to all. You did not say the same thing when Obasanjo, Yadwa, Jonathan, and Buhari were all sworn in as president and when their cases were still before the courts. You have chosen to single out this president-elect official, president-elect Bolaji Ahmed Tunumbu has, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu rather, this time around because the candidates you and your other religious brethren openly supported lost the election and you all feel humiliated and embarrassed. All issues raised against the victory of Asiwaji Bola Metsunambu is in courts now. Whether it is 25% vote in FCT or the fake drug issue are not different from issues raised against previous president's elects because basically the complaints have always been the declared victor did not win the election fair and square or was not qualified to contest the election. No disqualifying issue against a candidate can be greater than other disqualifying issues since a single issue can decide a case against the president-elect. So why all this force now? It has always been an electoral template since 1999 for the declared winner to be sworn into office to avoid a vacuum and not to force an unconstitutional contraption on the system while the cases are in court. My dear daddy, may I respectfully advise that going forward you and your brethren may consider stepping back from the deep and murky workers of politics and disease from descending into the arena of political conflicts where your children in your congregations find themselves on different sides of political divides. So it would be unfair to them for you to openly take sides. The embarrassment of the body of Christ is getting too much. I know politician is worth dragging this dignified body into unnecessary political controversy. Is this too much to ask, Daddy? First of all, so APC is referring to the bishop as Daddy. Uh, okay, uh, I didn't say anything. No, I did not say anything. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I did not say anything, no. I did not say anything. Now, that aside. So, <laughs> Festus Kiyamo is coming out to say that he don't be, be like that before. After all, it is always a case of this person is not qualified or this person committed, this person did not, you know, win fair and square. Eh, they don't do it like that before now. 
没点东，没点做完来的。You lie. See, I've said it before. No matter how wrong, maybe you did cook your your soup the wrong way, or maybe you did do your things the wrong way. Maybe if you want to do things now, you did start from the bottom of your list scale of preference. They do. Now the context said the best way to start is to start from the beginning, the top. Oga, you go start from the top. No matter how you they start from Z, they read Z, Y, X, they read back. The context said you must start from A, B, C, D, D. You must start from A, B, C. What I'm trying to say is, wrong does not become right just because it has been done many times. Now let me go this way. This thing we are going to talk about will cause quite. Just like this time, Imara Art have been encouraged. Making it look as if it is no longer sinful. Does it stop you from being sinful? No. This everybody do I'm not me say it is now right. So first of <laughs> all this one you are saying that you step back from politics and this one the one way won't pay me pass away and saying the candidate that the clergyman is supporting the selection and they feel him less and brass. How? Now they then give a monument use contest. Now even the person that even contested is not feeling humiliated, he's not feeling embarrassed. So why would they? <laughs> See eh? the day when Nigeria as a country go start to the retrace their steps, can do the right thing, no matter how long the wrong thing has been done. I don't care if they have been doing the wrong thing for centuries. Just like um, this Mary Slesso, she stopped the killing of twins. They don't they kill twins for a long time. She came in and stopped it. She affected that change, right? So a new thing is possible. Yes, a new view is possible. Why would you? And do you know what the bishop said? Oh, I'm sorry. You, you don't understand. What the bishop said was that swearing in, going on with the swearing in or the inauguration of the president-elect, it is not right. It's not okay. That as him they now, the man say as him they, he never know who win election. Because the tribunal have not given their verdict on it. So why would he go ahead? Matter city for court. You go swear in. That means, why are you now going to the tribunal? If you know say you go, go ahead. With any matter, why you go to the tribunal and why did you tell those people to go to court? Abby, <laughs> this matter is getting really, really interesting and I am really enjoying it. I hope you are. Okay, on this note, you've come to the end of the news. So, say thank you for turning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>